Chairman, I have a couple things, or one thing I'd like to pass to the board. It's uh, some photo simulations. Just for it's on wind. Let me, let me stop. It's on wind. Okay. The planning board has no active wind proposals in front of us. I understand that. We will not accept any more information on wind until and if one of the projects that are out there gets reactivated. Now, for those of you in the audience who don't know, the planning board, by standing alone, by the way, you know, on, on the only hill, has sent two responses to St. Lawrence Wind. We heard nothing after the first letter we sent to them. We heard nothing after the second where we asked them for a um, complete uh, follow-up draft environmental impact statement, supplemental. I don't know if they are doing it. They're not doing it. I don't I have no knowledge. They have submitted nothing to us. And just so everyone is aware, the procedure is, is that they are distributed to the same places they distributed it before. They don't have to bring it to a public meeting. We need to get it out to everybody. And they need to put a notice in the paper saying they've distributed it, and then we will do a public hearing and have a 60 day comment period. If they don't do anything, we're not going to do anything with that project. We're not going to talk about it. We're not taking any information. Because as far as I'm concerned, their project is inactive. Okay? Now, on the second project, uh, Tom would tell you the same thing. We have nothing from them. So we're not, we're not going to get into, you know, personalities and emotions discussing something that may or may not ever come to fruition. I, I do know that BP had an open house and they had a speaker and they had all these pictures, but they submitted nothing else to the planning board. And I can make that, we have nothing from them. So, as far as I'm concerned, both projects are either in studies or inactive or whatever you want to call them. So we're not going to take any information, we're not taking comments from the public, because Andy's getting a hernia and carrying all this stuff around. <laughs> well, this is very light. It doesn't matter. We're not, because we're not going any farther with this if it doesn't go any farther. Just, just hang on until, until these guys get back there. I talked with the, the BP program and they're working with the government trying to get their studies done. They're not done, they're incomplete. Their biggest problem now is their wetland studies and their noise study. And they're working on both of them. As of today, I talked to them today. So that's where I can update you on our side of it. But as far as us having anything official, for the last time we talked, you know, nothing is coming. Mm -hmm. But they're working with the government, so we're going to wait on tourists. Well, these, these were just visual simulations that I know weren't done from the river. So. You know, and all I would say to you is that certainly is a good thing to do if and when they ever get a final project map out and get into supplemental. You know, they don't if, if you want to do something with them, you might want to take them down to BP and let them see. Well, the, you know. the, the, these particular ones would be at St. Lawrence Wind. And I did submit to St. Lawrence Wind, so we discussed it at, at one meeting uh, about pictures from the room. And, and my thing is, that's certainly an admirable thing to bring up if and when or ever, there is a public hearing. We get it back on the board again. All right, but do them now. We could be holding on to them from now to eternity. Yeah, I understand. And, and the thing for me is, as you know, I'm not here the entire year, and I just thought it would be an opportunity to give you some information you could look at. I'm sure you can. No, we're not going to look at anything until we get. Because, okay. you know what? It may never happen. Yeah. Okay. I say you gave Brian a copy, right? I get, uh, what I gave to St. Lawrence Wind was uh, some, some various GPS locations on the river that I thought would be appropriate for them to take some pictures that would show impact, and I never heard anything back from them. So. First of all, I don't even know if they have their final tower array. Okay? Um, so until they get a final tower array, we're, we're all just wasting our time doing anything with them until they get a final tower array so you can really look at it and see what the impact was. The first one was let's throw it out and get everybody excited and then move on. Right. Well, now everybody got excited, but now it's old hat and fine. You need to get a final tower rate. Now, K. Vincent, the town of K. Vincent has a website, correct? Correct. Is it up, up and running? Yeah. Good. All right. What, what's the address on it? Town of K. Vincent. Just town of K. Vincent. Yeah. That or Dr. Town, I didn't believe. Not sure. Whatever. There will be all kinds of notices prior to that. <laughs> <laughs> 
prior to and if and whatever that, that these people submit this stuff. Okay? I can tell you with great certainty, nothing will happen from September 15th until October 1st. I can guarantee that not the planning board will take no action. At all. Period. None. Zippo. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. Do um, these wind companies have an unlimited amount of time to respond, or are they under any time constraints at all? The, the time is, they actually have an unlimited time because um, people requested them to do three-year studies, four-year studies, five-year studies. So because that was done, there is no time frame on it. Okay, but however, they're required to submit a complete supplemental draft environmental impact statement. They can't just walk in and hand us, for instance, the visuals that you want them to do. That's not acceptable. They have to submit the whole thing. All right, and then they either do or they don't. If they don't, you know, people got a heart attack over nothing. And then if they do, we'll go back to the board. <laughs> Public will have the opportunity to comment and we'll see what they've got. It may be good. Maybe this time they got it right. Maybe they don't. I don't know. I'm not the wind turbine company. Okay. I'm just a little able chairman here. So. Anybody else? Questions? Yes. So after that point, that's when you're going to get the zoning laws in place for the turbines? The, top, the, the planning board does not pass zoning laws. Okay. We have nothing to do with that. We can encourage the town board to pass it, but we cannot do that. Okay. So if you want a zoning law in place, as I said to Mr. Hershey one day, he really needed to go to the town board and say, we need to get a zoning law in place. Because right now, there is no zoning in place because they were classified as utilities. Right. And that, in my opinion, personal opinion, is, is, is not a good thing for the town because I could go out on Stony Point Road and put them up on my 120 acres. No, I could. I just hired T. Boone Pickens. He'd come put those babies up there. <laughs> that land was personally kept out for a reason, all right? But if I sold that land to somebody, there's no guarantee they wouldn't do that. The town really needs to have a law, and both sides really need to work to do that. But that's got nothing to do with the planning board. Okay. We cannot pass the law. We're doing the best we can with what we've got. So... At what point do you, I have questions, so at what point will it be in place that the questions can be asked? Well, right now there's no project going on, going okay. forward, so there's no, I can't put no. answer your questions because we don't even, we haven't seen an array yeah. that is sufficient to be discussing. Yeah. All right, so you could come in and be worried that you're going to have them all next door, and the closest one can be five miles away. We don't know that. Mm -hmm. So we don't have any information. So it's, it's really all a hypothetical deal. Yeah. I realize a lot of people have, you know. Nobody to answer their questions. I, the only thing I can tell you to do is talk to the wind turbine companies and see if they can answer your questions. I, I tried that. They don't have the answers, I'll be honest with you. Okay? I've looked at some of their maps and I know what they're showing isn't going to happen. I, I know the topography. But they don't know 